yeah, I have some stories about how good Forrest is. Um, you know, he has a really, really strong work ethic when it comes to getting shots and getting photos. Especially this past season, I got, you know, some of my best shots of the whole season with Forrest over like a three day period in Cleveland, Ohio. Home for the holidays and they just got hit with a bunch of snow. And uh, I hit up Forrest and was like, hey, there's snow in Cleveland, you should come out, you know, and everyone else is kind of doing their family stuff and Forrest is like, I'm down, you know, I have a week. But right now, like, let's just do it. So we just came out, three man crews, myself, Forrest, Tim Zimmerman shooting photos and we just went after it. The session in Akron, the, the ledge drop to rail was super gnarly. Like when we showed up, he's like, you know, I think I can go from this ledge to the rail. I was like, man, that is a huge drop to that rail. I just knew it was such a sick spot and I knew that I wanted to do that trick on it, but it was fucking super sketchy. So I started trying it that first day and I went into the stairs once and that was like the sketchiest thing ever. And then I ended up committing and jumped into lip one time and just snapped my board the first pull of them. And uh, my other board I had been riding the night before and it was like so slow and scratched up like there was no chance I was going to hit this again. So I was like at the spot, one super slow board, one broken board, just like it was about to get dark and I was just like just kept the trip going, going to a bunch of spots, but like that spot was always in like his head, and it was like, we gotta go here, and then we find it out, like, all right, we have one last day to do this. And he knew, like, this huge possibility he's gonna crack his deck again, so uh, we ended up going to my homie's board shop, Martini's Skating Snow, and uh, they had one of Forrest's boards there. It was like the last day of the trip, and like, everyone was so over it, and it was just me and Zim and Mark, and we were just like, and I was so sore and then I was like, fuck it, let's just go back to that spot. And I went back to that spot and there's like this other little spot that I just like started riding it to warm up and like was having so much fun, but like my body was still super sore and just like not hyped to be snowboarding really, but I started having like a ton of fun riding this little spot. And then eventually like was like, all right, let's fucking do this. Went back and started trying it again uh, and started kind of committing right away. Did one and fell. But I had landed it once, but it just like wasn't that good. And I was like, fuck, like, did I land it sketchy? And I'm gonna go home with like this shitty shot. And then did one, snapped my first board. I was like, fuck, now I only have one board left. I'm gonna set up this new board. It was like a 156 or it was like bigger than I usually ride. And just like filed the edges pretty like shiesty. It was just like, oh, okay, like, fuck, I guess I'm gonna do this. We should be all good. We're ready, go for it. Went for it and just snapped it, but like stood strong and like rode out. Like it was rad to like go through all that to get that shot, but it was tight. Every cover that you shoot is always special to you, or to a photographer, like, especially a transverse cover. And, you know, obviously we didn't know it was going to be a cover at the time, but we had a pretty good feeling it was going to be something special. And that was um, that was one of the gnarliest things I shot all winter for sure. Oh, Forrest, I'm fucking hyped for you, man. <laughs>